Air one. Switch key. Watch it. Bang on Wampa. V. Oh, drop my controller. Three. Killing Harmony. So this is the part where I start getting, you know, like really nervous. Not about screwing up this time. Like in the last Danganronpa, Danganronpa 2, I'd get nervous about screwing up. But now I'm just nervous about who's going to be the, the blackened. My voice starts cracking more and starts stuttering even more than I already do. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? So, like, I wonder... If somebody, like, brought, uh, brought, a, a Tenko down and then put her back up? It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. It could have fallen down. Oh, there wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. Hmm. A loud sound. Like something hit the floorboards. Maybe that sound had something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. What, what happened in the dark? Wait, 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 wait. What else happened in the dark? What else happened in the dark? <laughs> Fudge. Already starting this episode off in the wrong fracking foot. Right, there's a loud sound while wow, it was completely dark. What else was it? Hold on, because I'm afraid, I'm afraid it's going to throw me into a question thing. Other thing that happened in the dark. We were singing. But that wouldn't have anything to do with us singing. What else happened in the fracking dark? The se well, the seance itself? Maybe? Well, let's just see. Cage child, just just pick the cage child. Try it. That has nothing to do with the sound. Yep. Crap. Yeah, shut up. I was wrong. I was wrong. All right, I can't I can't pick the things. Uh oh. Now I really screwed up. Um. Mm. All right. Uh. What else happened in the dark? The, the loose floorboard? Maybe? I'm, I'm glad that the time resets itself each time. Each child sound rings. Rockstone, take his last moment. The loose floorboard. Try it. This is it! Okay, alright, at least it was that. I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. I feel stupid the now, but came loose at some point during the seance, right? It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That is true. There would have had to be a strong impact to make that sound. Well, what was it? What could it be? Go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna do a hangman's gambit. Oh no. Okay, never mind. That's good. Oh, is it somebody removing that thing? I don't know. God. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person the floorboard. 
Uh, oh, that's, that's cool. How you tore off the sentence. Under floor, then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Oh, whoa, I think that's been so God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that, do you? What would have made a strong enough impact to knock the floorboard loose? Think about everyone's testimony and combine it with the facts. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone was participating in the sound. Alright, hold on, hold on a bit, okay? One of the cross pieces that support the loose floorboard. And the room the sand sits held in. Only portion that supports the floorboard was cut off. I purposely cut it. Which means Maybe that doesn't tear off the floorboard. Uh maybe? Well, removing a floorboard. Oh well they didn't tear off the floorboard, sorry. They tore off the well, they found a way to remove the cross piece. I was wrong! Darn. What was I thinking? Stop. I, I, gotta, I gotta get my head in the game. A floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. Oh, that, that might be. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. That might be it then. That might actually be it. There we go. Ha ha. Kikichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation... One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. What? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? Why did they stand to gain? That's the question. To solve this case, I'll need to think carefully about the cross piece and the floorboard. Tanker's body was at one end of the loose floorboard, and the cross piece that had been cut was on the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was outside the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces were cut. The other two were intact. One of them was right under Tenko. And the other was in the center, right? About where the edge of the cage was. I don't know if I'm following though. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stomping on the floorboard? Oh, God. I'm gonna do a hangman's gambit. I don't even know what it's gonna be. Like, what would the word be? Or words? I, and I'm trying to think, like, they're trying to make an opening, I guess? Or flip her over? Oh, Seesaw! Okay. Seesaw action? <laughs> Effect. Okay. Oh god. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They, they make this pretty easy. Like, the gameplay itself is very easy. Getting the answers is another story, which is fine. But the gameplay is quite easy. Like, in the last last Dongarampa game. Oh my god. Freaking impossible. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah. But then what? Like, what is that? Her whole body lifted up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? They couldn't have killed Tenko like that. Unless they used the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. At, oh, on top of the, like, inside the cage? Four words, seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusion can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been that is consistent with the evidence. In the floorboard. Well, hold on. Not underneath the top of the cage. That's it. Oh, that makes Keo very suspicious. The iron cage with the blade facing down. The reason we didn't see it is because of the fabric covering the cage. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. The question is then, how is it removed? Oh my god. Because Keo, Keo removed it so he could have discarded it. Oh, that made him very suspicious just now. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. She was bent over, Dang. meaning the sickle's blade was connected with her neck. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in the top of the position. Bringing the victim to the sickle rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. And the town you heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That impact makes floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Homicide? What the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy! The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, culprit! You did a great job keeping me entertained. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Yeah? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. <sighs> You're making yourself more suspicious now. Why her? 
because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. The only one? Why is that? But she offered to to be part of this. Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room. But they were all like that. Is it not, Himiko? Oh, Kyo, come on, man. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Um, the middle room. The middle room's always best for stuff like this. Oh yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. <sighs> you know, oh, Kyo. About the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. No. Then she killed Tenko. Oh. Uh, no, it's not. It's a lie, right? Himiko didn't do it. In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Kill Tenko? I killed Tenko? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? Is it true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea? Does that mean, really mean Himiko really killed killed Tenko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel. Oh, and wow, intermission. This is a long trial, I have to say. Ugh. No, I think it's I think it's Kyo now. But even if it was Kyo. It wouldn't necessarily mean he was the one that killed Angie. Ugh. I don't want him to be a killer, though. Looks like we've reached the intermission segment, which means it's time for our... Guess the victim quiz! A victim quiz, not a culprit quiz? The only victims are the people who are still watching this drawn out boring crap. <laughs> Why are you being such a downer all of a sudden? I am sure everyone is happy. How do you know? They could be skipping the entire conversation for all you know. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. I'm the real victim here. Me! Why are you getting upset? If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put up with all this nonsense all the time. Absolutely. That's the right answer, Monodon. Why? He says it, he hasn't said anything. Hey. Exactly, because there are no victims. Yep, even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner. Because then everyone warms you, and you get tons of posthumous popularity. Oh, Daddy, you don't need to reveal those kind of behind-the-scenes secrets or details. Dying makes you more popular? Then we gotta die soon, too. <sighs> Alright, thanks for that peanut gallery. Let's go. Scared of losing my friends. Uh, did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. 
right now. You're on the threshold. All right, whatever. <laughs> Oops. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already! Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. What? I, I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now... You're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Here we go. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. Uh, the game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Kimiko, don't give up. Understand, my life is riding on the outcome of this trial. Just shut up. I told you, it's too tired. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? You give up here. Whoa, I just thought of it though. What if? What if she was. She prepared it for herself because I don't know. You needn't worry. No, I, I doubt it. the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the cult. Don't say stuff like that, Kyo. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko. Himiko, not that kind of person. Gota can tell by Himiko's face. Himiko's a little. Low, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. So no give up, Himiko! Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up. For the sake of everyone who died. Alright. Bloody Kokichi. That's true, but... No. Of the three empty rooms. Why did you spend the middle of that? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Here we go. Other rooms may be trapped too. Yep. There we go. There we go. Job gaunts. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? Sorry. Me? Sorry, Gonta. He was way too careless. Mm, wait, what are you talking about? I guess there was no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> what bad luck. prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If the 
culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. That's oh, Keo is so suspicious right now. For someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Especially you. But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Oh. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. So let's do our best. All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Aww. Do not say everyone. After all, the blackness is still among us. Hey, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. <laughs> Well, anyway, do you think the Blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards... <laughs> isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? Who would have gone in there? Oh, because the salt. That's it. That must be the reason. The The circle. Where are you? God, there's so many truth bullets. This is it. Oh my god, at full hearts, that's amazing. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may unleash a curse. Before we began the seance. We were warned not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trip. That was part of the culprit's plans too? That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit... There's no doubt in my mind, they're the one who killed Tenko. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive. God dang it. Freaking god dang it. It has to be you. Keo! Keo! Was it you? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Why? Keo? Why do you suspect me? Oh, it's so obvious, God. Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, 
variables like Tenko's position and the placement of a cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo. Oh no, he's gone mad. I think he's Melina under that mask, by the way. What is so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit, as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So... Do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. It's probably because he didn't kill Angie. The culprit stepped on that exact floorboard even in the darkness. Is it because they knew the exact like dimensions of the thing? How, how did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I could move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it. The culprit didn't even have to see it all. They used... Whether they, like, touch the floor? Touch. Smell. That was six cents. That's it! The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in the middle of the room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? I don't know the floor. Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Hang on one sec, I gotta I gotta pause for a moment. Alright. Of course the answer to that is there was nothing of the sort. No, I'm sure there was something. Landmark that could have used to determine where the floorboard was. Would it be the, uh... Well, would it be the cage itself? Or was there something else? Must have been at the scene. I know it. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to do a hangman's gambit. And I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna do a hangman's gambit. Fudge. What would have been the, the scene? That would have been a marker. It's not the stone because the stone was inside the cage. The hog statue was on top of the cage, and the thing around it. Huh. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just try it out. Oh, oh, cage, cage child. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Okay, um. Meh. Meh. Matches. That's right. He had fracking matches, didn't he? I don't actually see a T anywhere. I don't see any T. Oh, magic! Freaking magic! 
Magic, wait, magic what? I still don't know. Magic. Wait, magic carpet? Magic. Oh, la 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 la. Oopsie. Why can't I think of it? Circle! Oh god, really? That was it? Oh god, that's so easy. I'm not gonna say I overthought it, I just... I don't know. I guess I thought that was obvious. Alright. That's it! The magic circle! They used the magic circle! Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. Keo. An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. What? Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it. Yes? You're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salt all but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? What the real Slim Shady, please stand up. What? Mm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Does he have like a photographic Excuse me, <laughs> drive or something? May I have your attention, please? We're gonna have a problem here. There's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. <laughs> Cookie, hey, you get a may I have your attention? There you go. Shine on, Keebs. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. No way! Did you really... Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that purpose! Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. Alright, so... What is this function? It's an image recording function. And he was in there before they did the seance. Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. Man, Mew is upgrading them like a mother bleeper. I'll give it a try. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh! Look like at a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the sand. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on. Take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay, got it. I reluctantly took the paper from Kibo's mouth. So this is the magic circle used for the seance. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Notice anything. Oh no, come on. Huh. Just click, click. Click up there. That's not it. Yeah, that, that is. I'm sorry. Damn I'm it. horrible. I'm horrible at point and clicks. 
unless it's this. I think someone might be off. Okay. Um. Uh. But I have to compare it to the to the thing. But I, I don't know. God, they give you thirty crapping seconds. Oh, this! That leads him to the circle. I just thought of it. There. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you. We didn't fight. Never would have seen through Kibo's lie. My lie. You just saw that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed, and because of Kibo, too. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? <laughs> oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Uh-huh. Not for anything. I make Kibo use that function every oh. day to... <sighs> Analyze my turds! You what? Why? <laughs> Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality! Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Quit talking about your poop! No one cares! <laughs> Kyo, you killed Tanko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can... Your deductions are fiction. Oh, man. Kyo. <sighs> Gotta bow out gracefully, man. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant. But it may be an amusing diversion. Huh. Unimportant. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. Oh boy, all right. The white sheet. You are going to claim I am the culprit. Oh god, oh, what the fudge? What I couldn't reach it in time. It was set up in this cage. The only people capable of that. Oh my god, oh god, the controls suck dong. Oh my god, oh come on! I can't, I can't, I can't do it that way. All right, I've accepted it. Kyo's attitude is disconcerting, but first I need to counter his argument. All right. If you are going to claim I am the culprit. Oh god! Oh god! Oh! God. oh. What the fudge? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that. Oh my god, dude! Should fall on them. Dang it, this is bad. All right. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? Yeah, the murder weapon. Well, I know the placement of the murder weapon. It makes sense that Keo would have done it because. Just be, stay calm. Okay. Because he was the one who put the white thing, the, the white sheet. Suspicion should fall on them. There we go. I got it now. I got it now. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle was Himiko. Ah! But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shinichi. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage. Nor did I miss it. I had no opportunity to touch the city. There we go, there we go. Oh, cut 
Exactly correct. Oh my. What? It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tanko? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But he won't be. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. What you talk about, Kyo? <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko, that is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Ah, oh, that's right. What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first serve. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Issue. I wonder why he would ever do That's that. Gotta be a lie. He probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? Figured that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tinko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie. I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Hold on, let me, let me just review what he said. He said, had he known... That would be for only Angie's murder. He would not have killed Tenko. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Next to that, any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Yeah. There's sort of no other way to look at it. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. Thank you. I've been waiting for this. <sighs> what were you waiting for? 
Kyo confessed to killing Tenko, but insists he didn't kill Angie. We won't forgive Kyo for what he did, but we can't vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence and convince everyone. Shoot, oh, it's getting a little tougher. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Oh boy. Kokichi! Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. He's planning to use the new rules to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we drop this? Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. When we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We have to work together. If we vote now, we'll never know the truth. We have to defend that point. This don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Okay. Wait, did I no, I said that last time. Oh, I'm an idiot. Fudge! <laughs> I can't believe I made the same mistake twice. He's planning to use the new rule to protect himself. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tenko's death. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Okay. Hold on. We are oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, so this should be Angie. We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. There we go, yes, that's that's it. The katana was found in Kyo's Kyo. Anyone could have entered my lab. This music is amazing, by the way. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. Don't even, don't even talk, Smoogie. I got this. All right, now I remember what I have to do. Solve Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of Tanko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Kyo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. Is that other bloodstain? I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. Yes, the outlying piece of evidence at Tanko's murder scene. That little blood stain at the at the bottom of the floor. That right there. 
This is it! The blood stain found under the floor. Alright. Locky and I found it during the I got I gotta end it there for now. I think the next episode will be the final one. Dang, dude. My man Keo! You better have a good reason for this. Anyway. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, like this video, like this, like this, like it. As always, peace.